Hey everybody, Mike here at Emmy Tutorials and welcome back to a new video. Alright, today we're going to do part 4 in our short series on the modeling toolkit in Maya 2016. And today's topic is the target weld option. Okay, now first I'll show you where you can find it. If you go up to the right corner, you have this icon with the hammer and the cube. If you click on that, it will open up your modeling toolkit. And here are all your options. And down here under tools, you have the target weld option. All right. Now I'm just going to close that for a sec. And before I'm going to demonstrate how to use that, I'm going to demonstrate how things were before we had the modeling toolkit. Okay. Now I created a cube and I took off the top. So this is a separate plane. I'm just going to object mode for a sec. So that's a plane and a cube. All right. And my goal is to connect these vertices together on the corners, all right? So how would you traditionally do that? You would right click, go to vertex. You would select this vertex right there, okay? And then you would snap it to that one. So you would hit W to move it and you would hold down V on your keyboard and then it would snap, okay? Now that's all good except they are now in the same position, but they're not connected because when I click on this vertex, I can move them separately. And that's not what we want, right? So I'm going to hit control Z to go back. We're going to do that once again. I got the vertex selected. I'm going to hold down V to snap. There we go. And then I'm going to select both vertices by drag selecting. And I'm going to go to edit mesh and merge. All right. Now, as I click merge, I get the option to define a threshold. And what the system is saying is, OK, any two vertices that are in a range of 0 0.01 from each other will be connected. OK, so I'm good with that. So I'm going to hit enter. Let's check if that worked or not. So I'm going to select it, hit W. And as I move it, you can now see that they are connected together. All right. Cool. So that's all nice, uh, except there are several steps to the process. All right. So let's introduce the target weld option. So we're going to open our toolkit. We're going to click on target weld. And then we're going to hover our mouse over the first uh, vertex. And as we click on it, we have an orange circle that has now been created around the vertex. I'm going to hold that and I'm going to pull down my mouse towards the next one and you can see that this line is popping up okay and I'm going to release my mouse okay that's all there's to it I'm going to Q on my keyboard I'm going to close out the modeling toolkit and let's see if these two are actually connected so I'm going to select it hit W and as you can see they are so that's all there's to it that's the target weld option in the modeling toolkit Hopefully this video was helpful, and if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks. Bye.